Yo, what is up, my Shadow Army? So, it is I, Shadow Critius, back again with another Ruby versus matchup video. So, yesterday I bring you guys another versus matchup, and today I bring you guys a matchup that this uh, this is the matchup I've been wanting to make, but I just never got around to it because I keep losing interest. In and that is John Ark from Ruby against Sokka from Avatar The Last Airbender. And before I continue on, this is just my personal opinion about who I believe actually will win. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below who you guys believe who actually will win between these two characters. So, yeah. Um, these two are very, has something in common of, you know, their character development, their personality, and how far they have grown, etc. So, yeah. Uh, with that out of the way, let's just go ahead and dive right into it. John Ark is the the only son in the family with few sisters in his family. Wants to honor the the legacy of his ancestors and his grandparents and his grandfather legacy to be a huntsman. To take the mantle of the Ark name to become a warrior like before him. John skipped the acad uh cheat his way to get into the academy with no training expert with, with no ugh. With no training and also have no aura or no semblance or anything like that until later on that thanks to the help of Pira she helped to unlock his aura helped him train had to become a well fighter know how to use sword and shield properly and also some little bit of hand-to-hand -hand fight thanks to Pira and then later on we see how John became more of a uh, trying to be charm and Usual became more of a, a great leader in his own right. And then we see how far he has grown, upgrading his weapon to, well, when he put his sword back to his sleeve and used his sleeve as a, a sword as well. Basically like a, a, a big side sword, thanks to the upgrade that the blacksmith add in. So, so basically... Not only John has a sword, but also could turn his sword and sleeve to a, a big side sword as a heavy weapon. And uh, then later on in the um uh, in the Atlas, trained by with the Ace of learned to be more skillful with his semblance and also his fighting skill. His semblance is evolved aura uh siphoning or something like that. Or not aura siphoning. It's more of a healing ability like he has so many ore that he could give people his ore to them basically he's a healer to pass on his ore to them but he still have a lot of aura whenever the damage he takes he can heal himself back up and yeah so john has a lot of aura and um thanks to the upgrade john has gravity does in his shield and also have a one gadget basically like a um 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 like a a shield to to protect any attacks like gunfire or the explosion or anything like that and also he could use his gravity does in his shield to deflect people away or use it to make like a shock wave or something like that or he could use it when he jumps out of the plane and use it like a you know, land him gently, like we saw in um, volume uh, seven. So there's that, and I think that's the only thing I could say. And the only thing downside is that if John loses aura, he won't be able to use his um, his semblance. So. Because the aura is basically your shield, your your uh, protection, the minor injuries, etc. And plus, plus your aura gives you like a healing factor to heal, you know, your little injuries, you know, cut marks, bruise, etc. So, yeah, just want to clarify on that. So, yeah, that's basically it. Let's move on to the next one. Now, Sokka... He's basically like John in a way. Have no hand-to-hand -hand fighting skills. He's 
bit of a goofball, annoying, and he's basically part of the water tribe, basically like the Indians people, no offense to the Indians, and he's, uh, doesn't have no water bending abilities or anything like that, just only his intelligent, leadership skills, and also, uh, the only weapon he had from the entire series was his boomerang that he had until later on in the series in book three when he was trained by the Fire Nation best swordsman. The swordsman that Zuko, uh, Zuko betrayed. So Sokka has trained how to become a swordsman of his own until he finally uh, able to pass the swordsman master's test. Decided to get his own sword, which is... A sword that was made in the a meteorite has crashed. The blade is pure black and it can cut through any types of metals, even actual metal swords. So, so I want to say not a lot of swords can break other swords. I might be wrong on that one. That's pretty much on me. <clears throat> so... Um, how do I put this? Yeah, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. That Sokka doesn't have any hand-to-hand -hand fighting skill. Doesn't show as much. Don't even have it at all. I mean, he tried, but it just won't do nothing. And, um, the downfall of him is that he's too fucking goofy. And not take things, anything too seriously. Hell, even tried to face off Zuko in a swords fight, and he actually lost against uh, Zuko in a sword fight because Zuko has more, more skillful and more, and more in uh, what's the word? Uh, more um, uh, what's the fucking word? Experience of a swordsman than Sokka. So yeah, that's. That's the only thing I can think of for Sokka at this point. Even though he does wield other weapons like Spear. But we only see him use it once and that was it. So yeah. But we're only going to use the only two weapons that he has. His sword that was made by the meteorites. And also Sokka's uh, boomerang. That's basically it. To how this fight will play out. I can see Bobin will put up a decent fight for a swordsman, but if I had to give the edge of the equipment and the weapon choice for each of the characters, I had to give it to John. If I had to give the intelligent edge, I would have to give it to Sokka. And I had to give it the edge for the leaderships, both of them are equal of their leadership skills. And when it comes to the head to hand, uh John gets the edge, even though we don't see much of a hand-to-hand -hand fight. But he does fight hand-to-hand -hand with his weapon, but Sokka doesn't. So John has the edge of it. And when it comes to the outfit, John has armor on him, and Sokka doesn't. So John has the edge when it comes to armor. And um, when it comes to the abilities... <laughs> John got the edge of that with his aura and his semblance. Yeah, there's that. And Sokka does have a, a water bending or anything like that. So, yeah. So, the, the only thing I can see will play out is the, the, the swordsman fight. Not the swordsman fight. Sword fights between both of them. And, um, <clears throat> it's, it's close. Both of their swordsmanship because Saga has been trained by the master of swordsmen. John has been trained by both Pyrrha and the Aesops, which this fight would be a closest fight. But the only downside is that John have his aura and his semblance to back it up, and his gravity dust and his shield gives John the edge to beat Saka. So Saka. Would stood a chance, but not too long. It would be close for a swordsman, 
not swordsman. Why do I keep saying swordsman? Sword fighting? But he will lose. It will be a similar way to his fight again, Azuko, in a sword fight. So yeah, uh, Sokka will lose. So means that I declare John Ark the leader of Team Jennifer, the the winner. Well, guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below to what you guys think. Do you guys agree that John should have won this fight, or you guys agree that Sokka should have won this fight? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below to what you guys think. I come and share, subscribe, links to my other channels, my social media will be down below. Scratch what you know, drill. Again, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Near before, shout out, courteous. I'll see you guys later.